Hey guys, it's Samantha. Here are a few of my favorite tips for creating natural glowing skin. So I wanna share with you some tips on keeping your skin super glowy. I know that there's like a lot of different highlighters and stuff out there. And this is a little different. This is a little bit more like a glow from within. I'm really big on skin and skin just looking really healthy and natural and skin looking like skin. So I wanted to share with you some tips that I think are really helpful to create a glow from within and they aren't overdone. Again, sticking to my natural style. So cream on my face now, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it with a strobe cream lotion from MAC. And this has a bit of an iridescent shine to it. It also has soothing properties. It's not just for cosmetic reasons, but you know, it is good for the skin. My skin can really use all the hydration it can get. And I think, you know, going back to talking about skin being highlighted and glowy, and it, it can be really difficult if you live in, you know, colder climates or when the season is kind of working against that for you. This is a great product. Works great with or without a tan. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does have a little bit of an iridescent finish to it. And just like I always talk about, you know, starting from in here and then, you know, pulling out. I am also going to use, and this is kind of gonna be our primer today. This is um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter and it's from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm obsessed with this and it comes in different colors, so you can really kind of fit it to your skin tone. It comes in a big applicator like this, almost like a big lip gloss applicator. I'm going to put it on my hand so I can do it in a little bit more of a controlled way, but if you wanted to apply it like this, you absolutely could. And I like to do this really close to under the eye. I'm very fair, so under my eye gets really dark easily, especially you know in the colder months when I don't really have a tan. So I'm almost like putting it on like I would put on a concealer. And you guys can obviously see like there's a lot of brightness and reflection to this. Now I like this as opposed to, a, you know, a primer that you would do all over because you want the glow to be in certain places of the face. You want them to be more on the high planes of the face because that kind of reflects what happens naturally. And as I say, if your face is highlighted properly, it should look like the light is always hitting you in the right way. You guys can see that just, and that's, has no like real coverage to it. It is just literally highlighting the skin. So you can see why I'm using it in these places. Now I'm going to use a little bit right in the center between my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose, and just a bit on my chin. And you guys can take this like as, you know, you can go as heavy as you want with this. And as I always say, make sure both sides are the same intensity. Awesome like that in itself looks so much better. This would probably be great too for mixing, like with a tinted moisturizer or something like that. Like keep it simple, but just for brightening purposes. I am going to use NARS Sheer Glow. So it, it's a more, I would say like a, a medium coverage foundation but it does have a really nice glow to it and that's gonna work in our favor in this case. So as you can see, like we're covered, we are technically going over the highlighter, Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury, but you can still see it underneath the foundation, which like I was saying before, like it's a glow from within, you know, as opposed to a really obvious cheek highlighter or anything like that. Like this is just more natural. And what I like about the flawless, the Hollywood Flawless Filter is that you can put it on top of, and I'll show you, you can put it on top of this foundation as well. So you know I'm all about like versatile products, things that I can use with my hands, things that I can use in different ways, things that I can build with and mix, and this is definitely one of those products. A little concealer under the eye. I'm mixing my Shape Tape and my NARS Creamy Concealer. Okay, great. Now I'm going to take some more of that uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is number two. I guess it's technically light, but I've used it on darker skin tones 
than mine and it still looks good. So you just have to know like how far you can push it. Like this color, I would, I, I don't think I would necessarily need a darker color in the summer or anything like that. Like you could probably get away with it. The same color all year. I mean, you want it to be brightening. You just don't want that reflective white color or, you know, sometimes if a highlighter is too light, it can look chalky. It can look like blue or gray. That's not good. Cool, I love that. And I'm just gonna use whatever left in my hand and just go over my lids. You could just see like underneath the eye. And that's not the makeup, I mean, it really is the highlighter. So I'm going to do a bit of powder, but I'm really gonna keep it minimal because I want everything to be really dewy and really nice. Um, if you know that you're shiny in general or you get shinier throughout the day, like you might want to, you know, do your regular powder, but I'm just gonna do it right where you don't want the bad shine, which is like your upper lip, the sides of your nose, right in between your eyes. Um, I do a little on my chin and just kind of keep it minimum, keep it there. I'm going to do some bronzer. And just a bit of blush. I'm gonna use uh, NARS Torrid. Just a little bit. And then I would really, I mean, you could, of course you could add anything to this look. This is a, you know, basic skin, but I mean, you really don't need too much. This, and, and this is like no tan. I'm actually very pale right now. And you could just see that there's a glow to the skin, which is exactly what we want. From here, you could add more highlighter if you wanted to. You could do it on the high of the cheekbones, bridge of the nose, inner corner of the eyes, but this gives you a really nice base and really achieves a really nice glow any time of the year. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know below what your favorite products are for a natural glow.